request is a rezoning from Mr. Alan Tishon on behalf of the Unemployment LLC. This is to rezone two properties, totally 1.79 acres from R10 to RM, R10 to multifamily. Subject properties are located at 1505 and 1507 in Free Road. This is about 800 feet north of North St. Augustine Road, um, across from the what we call the Alaska Mall Corner Shopping Center portion. Um, the property you see is owned R10, part of a single family neighborhood that dates back several decades. Um, you notice a commercial property that is to the southwest of the zone in CC. Um, that was a zoning change from a few years ago. Um, the construction of a four story extended state hotel, which is currently built and operating. And as we had talked about during that zoning change a few years ago, this neighborhood has been in a state of transition. It was once mainly an owner-occupied residential neighborhood that changed about 10 years ago. Um, the development trends, aside from the hotel, have also been for a And you see the large RM tract in the back of the neighborhood, which is a fairly large existing apartment complex. Um, the applicant is proposing to sort of begin the process of filling in the middle um, with multifamily development to match those trends. Um, character area, community activity center, um, it is more intensive than what we normally see, but it's associated with an even more intensive commercial area around the Val Austin Mall. R10 zoning is non compliant <coughs> with that character area because it's simply not intensive enough. Um, community activity center calls for a higher density of residential zoning or commercial zonings, and certainly the applicant's request fits in with that. Aerial imagery, you see the rooftops of the existing apartments. Um, this image was taken before the hotel, which you see the large four-acre track where the hotel currently sits. Most all of those other structures currently remain. Many of them are rental houses and also one small mobile home park. Um, survey in, in your package shows the two existing homes. There are two different site plans there. It's for 32 apartments in two different configurations that are shown. Um, this is a two-story variation which shows four buildings. And the second one is very similar, but it is two buildings of three stories each. And as we talked about at the work session, this seems to be the preferred version because it offers a little more flexibility of the design. It's also more green space. Um, the property is sloped from the front to the back with a pretty good gradient change, um, which helps an obscure part of the three-story building. Um, this is just example site plans. They have not engineered the site yet. Of course, the request before you this evening is that of the zoning change, not a site plan approval that we have with conditional uses. Some building elevations in the packet um, that were submitted originally by the applicant, just as an example. Um, they are showing what a two story apartment building would look like, a three story version. And then this morning, I got another picture from the applicant. He wanted to get a little better idea of what he's thinking in terms of architecture on a three story building. Um, and so, I Put this in the PowerPoint this morning. Um, the applicant is here. If you have some questions for him as well as his engineer. Um, but with all of that, the planning commission reviewed this at the independent meeting. They found the zoning request consistent with the conference plan and the standards for exercise of zoning power, which are in the packet, and the recommended approval of the two. If I'd answer any questions you may have. Any questions from Mayo on this out? From the council? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward, state your name <coughs> for the record. My name is Matt Phelps, uh, address is 4560 Road, Belmont Drive. I'm uh, the engineer on the project for the owner who is also in attendance and just wanted to present myself if y'all have any questions or concerns about the service. Anyone have any questions? Anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? All right. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition? Anyone who would like to speak in opposition? Seeing none, Council, I'll turn it over to you, Patrick. Mr. Mayor, I'm going to for who would request that position. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor of the motion, please uh, say aye. Aye. All opposed, the same sign. There is none, the motion carries. Okay, 
Matt. Next item is, you know, 